Hey guys, what's up? It's Wolf here, and only welcome back to some more of the Alchemist Code. So, new update has came by, and there is a new character. She looks actually pretty interesting. But we're gonna go go ahead and look at her. Then we're gonna look and see if we want to summon for. Her. Oops, I went to the wrong place. I was like, this always bothers me now. <laughs> Just looking through all this stuff. And somehow I always manage to push specials. <laughs> Alright. There is a hell of it that I'm pretty sure I can't beat right now, so... I'm probably going to save that one off into the future. <laughs> Maybe. Okay, so this one's just... Deal a whole bunch of damage, too. I'm pretty sure I turned off a skill display. <laughs> I like her voice though. Nah, I think I did not turn off. We'll turn on skill display. So we're gonna do that. Yeah. So it's good to know that her AI puts on a shield when it first starts. So that must be a passive. Yeah, that's definitely a passive. Which is pretty nice. I'm guessing this is her memento or a memento item. Okay, so first things first, she has she has pretty much nullifies all status effects for three turns and increase your own defense. All right, let's see what defense what stats turn into now. Nah, this look like they increased. <laughs> it still looks like the basic stuff. Okay. So next we have this attack, which deals magic damage within the area of self and increases the magic damage the higher the CT of the target. So I guess if there's turn that's coming up, the more damage you do. That's at least my guess. Not gonna lie, I, I really like her design. Okay, next. Does magic damage within the area that increases the power of the CT the lower the target is. Okay. So this rat is right here is four so if you're if you're like CT is really far back or turn it's more of counted on turns if you guys are confused so these two rats have different turns and that and also elemental damage too. Have yet to see her counter. There she is. Okay, so she has a Zorb counter that also poisons. Noted. Okay, so what else? Hit with dark magic and within that area lowers hit chance. It's safe on herself as well. And it's a charge ability.
All right, then she also has a single target attack that deals dark magic and inflicts silence, daze, and increases her own attack. Hmm, pretty nice, pretty nice. Okay, her basics. She does dark magic damage and absorbs HP and greatly increases her attack and abuse with dark and magic. Well, light versus uh, dark versus light. Doesn't seem like that counter is like all too strong. I guess it's based on the damage she takes. That's at least my guess. Oh wow, you can only use this once here. I did not realize that. That is... That is terrible. Is this basically the same thing Soul and uh, Emil has? And they can use it more than once? This is... This is a really terrible skill then. <laughs> like, what? Okay. So this is based on the target's agility. So if this guy isn't fast, then he ain't gonna really get much damage. But this guy is faster. So he dies. <laughs> like some of these characters really get hindered by the amount that they can use. I feel like that skill should be at least three. Personally. Uh, delay its target. Play is always nice. And then we have swap places with people. Oh wow, it's actually a really large range too. And she has pretty decent range on her basics too. And she has the ability that increases everybody's attack. So it's basically like a bill's uh, giving all of her uh, magic and physical attack to an ally. But instead, she's giving it to everybody around her. Nah, to be honest, she doesn't decrease that much. And that's pretty much all her skills, to be honest. Man, pretty nice. I'm not sure if I'm gonna go for it though. I mean, her versus Nyx, I would probably pick Nyx most. I mean, I didn't hit the this, but I can go back and get it. Personally, I was just after the gems. But she's pretty all right. I say if I was to summon for just Nyx only. Hmm. Wouldn't really work out. This one's here for a week. But that only increases rate at step five. Which would be pretty useless. <laughs> All these featured units, though. Oh, the first one would be in. Oh, nah, I'm good on that one, too. Pretty much all of these banners are kind of useless. Just goes the whole step up rating. You just gotta get lucky. 
First, I would take Nyx. It doesn't seem like I got him. So, hey. Maybe one day I'll get Nyx. But let's see who we got. And plus, I don't have a lot of Dark Shards to even up that character, even if I was to get it. I have plenty of uh, Thunder Shards, though. Oh, this is somebody I already have, definitely. And eh, no, I don't really use her. I mean, I know she has a job plus, but I've never really been interested in using her. Alright, and we're gonna save the rest of our gems. No need to go like extremely far in. <laughs> Okay. I've been working on Setsuna, I guess. Even though I'm not a huge fan of her, but hey. Next, we're going to go ahead and do all these. The only thing that's really good about her, personally, is the counter. That counter is actually really good. I should have sat him right there. But this is fine. If I take 20, she definitely won't be able to use it. That's one thing I don't like about her is um, her jewel cap. Compared to no, we could just start out with like fucking 79. You insane mad lad. <laughs> thing back there. That's actually pretty annoying that you guys stayed back there. Uh, wow, I actually can't really do much off that. I say, no matter how you look at it, this is still the best character. <laughs> I think I've just gotten addicted to using Mediotis at this point. should be able to kill no I can't because high difference all 
The only thing I wish that Cessna had was um, jewelry gin. A gear that gave her jewelry gin. That would have been nice. Maybe I would have liked her a lot more from there. <laughs> Next. More than likely, I'm going to gain back all the, yeah, all the gems I just used, thankfully. I'm waiting for, like, a collab, which I just feel like there's going to be one sooner or later. Okay, so we got to do basically the same thing here. But... For, it's been a while since we had a, another collab, to be honest. Like a long while. <laughs> they say anything about the treasure chest? Nah, no, I think about it. Nah. It was mostly just beat the hell out of some enemies. That's all. I've always talked about the dangers of um, a character having to go in just to get one hit on the enemy just to get jewels versus an ally that you don't have to at least on the first go It's mostly you you want to take as much unnecessary damage <laughs> into at least you can attack or use one of your powerful attacks. I'd say Meliodas, for example, he can just get jewels from far away, but it really depends on the enemy's speed is if that's a good idea or not. Or you could just make him take jewels from an enemy or an ally that has like long range attacks. Like I do in Envy. Like we're all the way over here. But these guys did spawn right here, so that was still something I did want to encounter. <laughs> okay, so that won't kill any of them. That'd be a bad idea. For our three kills. You know, I never noticed that that was free. Until just now. I never really noticed that was free. Thankfully, Mediolus does a lot of damage too, so I don't have to charge up. Setsuna has like an 80% chance of counter at least. Because I wouldn't say 100 since I've seen her not counter a few times. At least I feel like I've seen her not counter a few times. Either that or they are out of her uh, range. I know Gnome's, like, counterattack is a 100% now. It would be amazing if it was. Like, just imagine that bastard hitting you every freaking time you try to attack. With his whole charge-up thing going on. Now that sounds like fun. <laughs> 
Okay, so damage output is getting higher in just killing three enemies at the same time, which is something I hate. <laughs> uh, Alright. Let's see what we can do from here. Okay, it's easy. Yes. This one is actually all that hard. Not only this, you can also get gnome like times two, not, not times two. His uh speed and jump, while also still having enough jewels to like charge up afterwards, then use one of his uh AOE skills, which was always really nice. But people were wondering why he's so good. It's just that he has a lot of things in his kit <laughs> that just makes him so strong. That's why you'll see him a lot. Either that or that's why you've been seeing him a lot. I kind of wish you'd countered on... Uh, Miss. Versus Meliodas, who doesn't counter anything but physical. There are a lot of magical enemies. Well, physical enemies in this game. You will barely run into magical, magic enemies that want to hit Meliodas. But I say, don't kill MV until I get my stuff, please. Thank you. Okay, so that's not going to kill. It would be better just to use, uh, heavily. That's also another thing I do with Meliodas. Like, get Jewel charge up. Yes, I could kill all these guys, but that wouldn't get me past the uh, thing I need. Which is more damage, like 8,000. These guys are also really annoying just because they have sleep effects, too. So I have a feeling they're going to sleep or soon. Oh, never mind. She got it. <laughs> so now we don't have to wait. Normally only use Envy for this. Also her leader. Nah, I guess I'll just use uh, this. So I know Envy's gonna die. So we can go back and do this later. We'll do the um, no deaths later. As long as we get out the crucial annoying stuff first is what we're actually after. Everything else is easy. But since that's the case... And there we go. No, no death is pretty easy. Because we basically could have ended like way long ago. Ah, 
Now we gotta hit for 10k. Which no one can do, but. Eh. Okay, let's take out you. And we're going to bring in. Ultima. At least I have more confidence with Ultima. Because I can give him agility. We're going to put everybody together. <laughs> oh god, allergies. I say, let's not have allergies happen. Please. Let me guess, isn't this like a... Yeah, one archer. The reason I have more confidence in the uh, ultimate is just because he's actually fully maxed out. who doesn't even have um, stuff yet. He doesn't even have a single gate maxed. And this is how we want to start. Oh wow, you guys actually blocked me in. I don't know how I feel about that. But there's our four. I don't want this thing doing anything that I don't like, so I'm just gonna slow down the CT. somewhere. Nah, no light enemies. So I guess the archer will have to do, since he probably has the less have less agility. The less defense. Let's see. Physical defense. Eh, it's actually decently high. Whereas, yeah, I, I figured. It is 10k, right? Yeah, just in case. Pretty sure that counts. Say as for the rest, I should be able to kill with Ultima. This also protects Ultima a little bit. Uh, actually, nah, I can't. They're gonna out speed. Oh no, they actually don't out speed. <laughs> I say no more agility and uh, quicken is just. Pretty insane right now. 
Ah, never mind. His agility ran off that turn. <laughs> Feels bad. Just in case we don't kill him. Uh, I think this word off by now. Yeah, I do. Oh, it's not going to take a little bit of your jewels, buddy. Wow, that's weird. I say normally Ultima's like a lot faster. Maybe that's just with his leader. Okay. Totally forgot about this part. Good thing I did take jewels. Okay, so we should... Ah, oh, crap. I say we should be able to jump somewhere. Or add an enemy, but it doesn't seem like that's something we can do right now. Oh, I was about to say, I hope he gets his turn now. Because that's really all we need. I don't think this can be... Oh, he could reach to one. Through it out. Next. Now it looks like we got two more and we're done. I figured he was going to come this way. I say at least lower his turn, so no one can go again. Oh, it is this. Was, yeah, that was half the hell out of no. So he should be fine, especially since his next turn is coming up, and we can just do this. And we're done. What was that, stage four? Yeah, stage four. Ah, I wonder what the last one could be. Could that be freaking 
I guess, uh, 15,000? If you're insane? Okay, 3k. Oh my god, jeez. If there's a light unit in here, I can easily do that with, uh, Meteotis. But there has to be a light unit in here. If not, I'm gonna have to redo it with, uh, Mercenary. Just to get that bonus damage. Which I'm more than guessing that there won't be. Unfortunately. And there isn't. I figured as much. I say so I would have to crit or something. Figured. Well, that's not good. If I had a master ability, I guess that would be a lot easier, but. Oh, nope, I crit. <laughs> that's all I needed. I got the crit. <laughs> Fantastic. And this should kill. <laughs> Funny enough, he just got that perfect little crit that just helps out. So I had to kill both of them at the same time. Well, Gnome kind of just destroyed that whole moment, so... <laughs> Ah, uh, that isn't that great. Like always, I'll come back and do these later. Not too concerned about doing them on the uh, video. But I am kind of curious of what boss we're fighting. Oh. Okay. Definitely taking out you. And let's see, who can we replace? Let's see if you guys can auto that. Oh god, I forgot to take off skill display. That is going to make this quite a bit longer. Always check and see if I can auto this. Just because then that just makes it so much easier on me. Okay, I can kill those units pretty easy. Too bad Medio, this isn't like really smart. When he doesn't jewel drain anybody. I would actually prefer Ivy to die here, just so we can get some jewels. Well, not jewels, uh, Chihaya out here. Okay, 
And this is actually pretty good for Meliodas just because he can counter magic here. But physical down is kind of a annoying effect. How would you blood? You always blood, but you never actually jewel drink. <laughs> That's something I've noticed he always does. Unfortunately, nobody's gonna save Chaya, so she's probably gonna die. Considering where Envy died. At least she's smart enough to actually use agility down now. Hey, no match she saved her. She's probably gonna die to uh, her. At least want them to have her. But also really would enjoy it if they did hit her or kill her in one go. I'll probably have to change him out and put somebody else stronger. Won't be a fire unit though. But, as long as I keep him in here, she, she apparently has a liking to hit him. <laughs> I'd say Chai has definitely helped out in this moment though. Surrounded. Okay, it looks like we could do this in one go. That may kill Chaya, but that makes Zahar on the field now. And that's more damage. Okay, good. We could actually do it in one go. Nice, 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 nice. Ah, I can actually breathe. That was fun doing all those, though. Now I got more to do. Now I'm basically done with, like, assessing this stuff. But I might go ahead and do a hard one. Because I think you can... You only have to do one hard just to get all those, and that's actually pretty good for the first, like, rewards of it. Hopefully I get a meals out of, out of this first little batch here. Yeah, I'm on. Or not, okay. <laughs> I'd say there aren't a lot of stuff in here right now. Okay, so this is all just to finish her uh, first gate. But the only sad thing is you have to have a lot of her shards. And I only have like 35, so. Yeah, not happening. <laughs> but with that said, guys, I'm going to end off here. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys on the next one. Until then, peace out.